Monster Truck Rally. Challenge No Steel. All right. And three <laughs> monster trucks. Oh, so this one was dope because how it worked was the cars would dry off over and stop here. And then there was one monster truck driving, driving over them. But now we have three. Without steel, this is going to be a tough one. So this isn't going to work yet. I mean, it, it holds up. But what we need right now is steel muscles. And actually, hold on. We may have to bring back the super muscles. This may be a super muscle kind of day. I'm actually going to preemptively do a super muscle. And if you've not seen the super muscle yet, oh... It is beautiful. It's something like this. Um, then the additional stuff, attachments are questionable. I think this will actually be a muscle too. We'll actually just try this. We'll just straight up give it a go. Cause I mean, this is way too cheap. We probably need to spend more money, but let's start simple. 23% stress right now on these bridges. That is not much. And these cars only bring up to 45%. So the question is, can we handle monster trucks driving over them? Maybe? Oh, it instantly goes bad. It is not even close. I think actually the top supports in general are bad. I wonder if instead of doing an over under, if I want to either do a full under, I think I'm going to do a full under maybe. All right. Um, let's see how th if this holds any better. It actually has less stress than the other one. So it's technically better, but I think it still needs to be tweaked. So I'm going to actually run this in minimum speed so, so we can observe. Oh, it actually hasn't failed yet. Okay, a little faster. Oh, shit. Two monster trucks on top of one car is fucked. So a muscle broke, which means we up the amount of the muffle. Oh, that did worse. Ugh. Reinforced road as a support. It's heavier, which is kind of bad. It puts a lot more stress on the muscles, but it puts less stress on this. I almost want the stress to be on the muscles because it's really easy to just beef up the muscles. We've got a bigger muscle now. We are strong men. This is a big ass muscle. We're going right into it. Already, the number of stress goes down. It is higher than before, but only because we have the reinforced roads as support, which are heavy. I may consider getting rid of them, but they're strong too. Oh, it only broke once it landed. Hold on. If the, this wood broke, then we're going reinforced roads all the way through. This is now a reinforced road bridge. All right, so holds up a little better. However, I think the top is still a bit wrong. Oh, I did. Hold on. I don't think I can do this, right? This is a cop out. This is like your arm muscle and you only got tanned in one specific spot. Oh my God, it's really good actually. 40% is a massive change from what we were seeing before. But it works worse. I'm getting really weird with the design. I'm probably gonna redesign afterwards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redesign afterwards, but I'm really curious if this actually works out. No! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just make sure this is identical or something. I think it has something to do with the second car being different, though. This was insane. Wait, what? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we just see RNG? Well, it works now. Okay, so technically this works twice. But if I do this, does this not work? Now, in the dev's defense, this is different, but... This should be. This shouldn't break. It's technically not RNG, but they kind of did a cop out. It's a cop out, if you call that not RNG. Because the difference, because what's happening is somehow the physics of the bridges are affecting each other despite not touching each other at all. That's, it kind of sucks. So uh, there's a few ideas I want to try. I want to try a slightly arched road. But as we can tell, this bridge, well, um, I'm not actually sure which bridge is doing better. Where this bridge is gonna fail though, 100 percent It's just annoying with the monster trucks the way to push around the car. It's so unpredictable. Why is it called a muscle? Well, basically because it's a stronger version of just the normal piece in the original time I had it was actually I would place it around the original piece So it would actually support it as in like the original thing was the bone and this is the muscle But now it's not exactly like that anymore. Like I used to keep this piece 
I was afraid of this. All right, uh, <laughs> reinforced road muscle. Any good food suggestions? <gasps> Hold that thought. Okay, so this almost worked actually. The bridge did fall at the end, which is bad because our car boy can't get there. So I'm, I'm trying to second muscle here to see if that gets anywhere. Oh, that was worse though. Wait, no, it wasn't actually. Because what we can do is do another muscle here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone! Ah, oh, we've done it! <laughs> Holy shit! The reinforced road muscle got her done. This is beautiful. Like, we're pushing this car back, and even though we're hitting on multiple different stress points, same with this one, and the landing's different, it's still just strong enough to handle everything. So, at the bottom, we have two humping road muscles. This one is on the bottom, and the top road muscle is pounding the shit out of it on top, and they're still connected. And that's, I think, the life force of the bridge. It just works really, really well. Well, yeah, that's optimized. We're not getting any better than this, unless I make a totally new design. On to World 4. Edgy, once again. The extra boat and only two hydraulics. So normally two hydraulics wouldn't be an issue if there's only one boat, but now there's two boats. So we have to have one hydraulic for each bridge. So we're gonna have to have it maybe pull towards the middle. Actually, this this one seems easier than the last one. Uh, this one definitely seems easier because it's just draw bridges with a middle rock. If they wanted to make this hard, they should have... Well, could they have gotten rid of the rock? They should have made a smaller rock. So the, the overall setup's gonna be like this. Then I'm obviously gonna do this and this. this. This one's cooler because the whole thing will be supported actually by the rock. Well, this looks decent. Let's see how it runs. Well, it does hold up well. I'm a little worried about the hydraulics. I, if the, I think if anything breaks, it's gonna be these tiny pieces. Oh, I forgot to do split joints. Um, I think I'm just gonna straight up do these. All right, the, the concept was there. We just forgot one thing, huh? This shouldn't be ba that bad. This is standard, really. There we go. Now, do we dodge the boats is the question? It looks like we do. There we go. Rock bridge. The glorious centralized rock bridge. If they wanted to make this difficult, they should have gave us one hydraulic. So what we would have to do is have the hydraulic be here. One contracting hydraulic in the center. That would be difficult. But this was, this was just a rock bridge. Wow. What a relief after that last level. Good run. Let's carry on. Collision warning. The challenge is that there are two more dune buggies. Oh, this was a bitch, actually. We had to have all four of these cars go at the same time, and we have to have them all dodge each other. Maybe it's not that terrible? Because I guess they actually, they go at the same, like, rate. Might be weird, though. Come on. Oh, I actually realize how difficult that's going to be now. It's actually way harder to dodge two cars than it is to dodge one. Right, I'm going to bring this down, actually. This can be angled up even more. <gasps> oh my god, this was easy! Alright, all it took was a lower launch. And no steel necessary. On to the next one. A sloped drawbridge. The second hydraulic phase is removed. Oh, this is... This is clever. So here's how this is gonna go. The hydraulics are going to go, and then what's gonna happen is that they're not gonna come back down. And what's difficult is that A needs to get here, which is in between two boats. I have a pretty elegant idea, actually. This car is fast, so this idea probably will work. We're gonna do something like this, and we're gonna obviously support it well. And the reason why it's high up is so that we can have the split joint be here, and when it goes up, it's going to turn into a jump. All right, moment of truth. Does not hold well on its own. Let me do one of these then. And actually, let me just casually replace this with this. Still breaks. Oh, this is under too much. Hold on, let me do one of these actually. I forgot I could do this. And then, oh, this, this needs to be improved. Duh. Looks good. Okay. Hasn't broken yet. The hydraulics are gonna be under a lot of stress though. Whole thing is riding on them not breaking. It is gonna stop where it splits, so. What the fuck? There we go. Whoa, that did not separate correctly. All right, so at least the first part works. Well, this is gonna be tight. So let's first make sure it clears the rocks. 
Second, it pulls way too goddamn far. I bet I could do this. I bet I, I bet I could just contract it a very short distance. Oh, and the hydraulics under way less stress then. So the reason why this is nice is that the hydraulic's shorter, so it won't have to pull as far, meaning we'll have that gentle slope that I'm hoping for. Dodges the boats with ease. We can lower this if necessary. But now it doesn't come back down. Our six meter per second car is gonna have a journey ahead of him. Oh, but he's so slow! Ah, fuck, he can't handle the slopes that well. All right, so we're gonna have to decrease the numbers because the, the setup is so perfect that the only way to actually manage this is to decrease the numbers. So we're going down to 30. So we gotta find the perfect number that just barely dodges the boat. So the added be benefit, in addition to a, a less shallow or less steep slope, is that the gap is smaller. So will not require much to jump this gap. All we need is for it to go over. No! Oh, this was good though. This was really good. Let's get this going up here, I think. Ooh, there we go. A nice clean landing this time. <sighs> We're gonna do this. This is what I should have done all along, but I was being lazy. It's basically the same bridge. All right, so the good news about this is that it's way cheaper. I think I could do reinforced roads here. And then steal here, because this is a weird part of the bridge. And we're right on budget, but that's just because I'm, um... I'm keeping it kind of clean in design. Are you... what? So, I actually, I think I know what went wrong. I think because this was kind of bouncy, the jump was different. Thankfully, we can afford it. And now we're actually right on budget. I can just go back to reinforce roads, and I can make other stuff cheaper. I'm not worried. Much. Okay, let's go to 29%. One less percentage point on the contraction. See if it still works. Come on. Fuck. Good news is, is this makes it. I'm going to just go one percentage point at a time. But if this breaks, I'm really upset. Like, if the boats hit this, this is going to be terrible. Come on. Well, here's an idea. We make this 30% and the other one 28%. So, it has a vertical gap that gives a little bit extra leeway. You see how this is higher than this now? So that means that maybe it can make it. Maybe it can make it. Oh, actually, that was all we needed. Well done, young car. Next. The trap. Oh, no. This level was terrible for me. I was so bad at this one the first time. And now we have to return the cars to the start? Well, this is going to suck. Wish me luck, chat. Does the original design still work? Well, there's two issues with that. One, probably no. And two, I don't remember what the fuck it was. I mean, I remember the concept. It's just there was a lot of tweaking that was done that I don't fully remember. Well, we'll give it a shot anyways. It should be okay. All right, let's test it. Um, well, so far it could still work. So the idea of the bridge is that this car will hit this and push it. And already, we're kind of partially there, actually. The cable needs to be longer. Um, that's part of my issue. Now, how badly do I need this? I think I actually do need it. Can't go back, though? I think so. Because this thing is just on top of it, not as a block. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that later. I want to get this down first. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's see if this makes it now. Oh, shit. The road itself broke, so let me do this. There we go. No, it's just a little bit off. <gasps> it almost works anyways, though. So I think we actually need fewer springs. Something like this. Let's see. It also could just be too steep here. <gasps> oh, all right, it gets up. It's a little sloppy. Now, what turns around first? Oh, you turn around first. And look at this. We already have a ramp for you to go down. And you are accepted by the bridge. Now, the question is, will this guy be able to make it back? He should. As long as this gets pushed up, I think we've got it, actually. Well, look at that. The same design works for both. Not bad. I think my f the first time I built this, it was better. But I vaguely remembered the overall concept, and we got her done.